loves to know what the weather is going to hold for us, Annalise. We're glad that it's significantly warmer than it was yesterday. I think I love the way you said it earlier this morning. <laughs> it's hard to believe that 24 degrees sounds amazing, but when you compare it to <laughs> minus one or minus two, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, yes, you know, it's just everything's relative, isn't it? What, certainly weather wise. And this morning, uh, it's funny how we walked in the building and I think all of us noted that it felt so much better than the previous morning. But we're going to be saying that day after day as things are going to look up. I know it has been a hard weather stretch for us with this latest round moving through. We saw it late day yesterday, that snow coming through from west to east. And then in the overnight hours, for most of us, still some snow, but we did have to watch for that freezing rain that was down to the southeast and to the east. But all of that is slowly tapering off as we move on through this midday and into this afternoon period. And that is why what has been this winter storm warning is going to be wrapping up as we get into this evening. But of course, one thing we're going to be noticing through the next several hours as meteorologists is we're getting these reports in slowly but surely numbers are trickling in. And Erin, you've kind of broken down some of those numbers that we're seeing. Yeah, they're just starting to come in now. So you'll definitely have to tune in later this afternoon and into this evening as we'll likely have some better reports, uh, some more numerous reports at this point. But certainly the snow has fallen across North Texas. We've picked up just an inch reported in uptown Dallas. This was just from the snow that fell overnight and into this morning. Once we move to Little Elm, an inch of snow there as well. Report coming in at 830. Up to the north, Luella. So a half inch of snow reported with what we saw overnight and into this morning. But since Sunday, they've had just over four inches of snow on the ground, so just kind of incredible there. And then we look to Sherman. They picked up three inches of snow uh, alone and six inches of snow total on the ground since Sunday. A little farther off to the east, which is where we were anticipating some of the more significant snowfall totals. It looks like six inches of snow reported uh, near the county emergency management area in Bonham. So some pretty impressive snow totals. We're just starting to get the reports in from some ice accumulation in central Texas as well. So we'll keep you updated on that, Annalise. Thanks so much, Erin. And you know, these reports are so tough, especially considering we had round two and we had a, a wet snow with this latest round and then we had the, the ice as well. So it's, it's tough to get those measurements, but we'll have probably more of those roll in in the next 24 hours. What's also going to be rolling in, that storm rolling to the south and east, exiting our region and moving to the mid-south and through the Tennessee Valley. You can see it right now. Snow stretching through Arkansas, moving into northern Mississippi. These are locations that got hit with the first storm just like us. So they're kind of dealing with another round, just as we have done here in the Lone Star State. That icing threat will continue through Louisiana and up through Mississippi. As we take a look, though, out of our camera from our station here in East Fort Worth, you can see about one lane cleared uh, eastbound and westbound there on I-30, but pretty snow-packed elsewhere. And no surprise, when you've got temperatures still staying very cold, 24 degrees, feels like temperature of 15. And as we roll on through the rest of today, we'll dry out, but the clouds aren't going anywhere, at least today. And our temperatures are going to stay below freezing. Looks like topping out in the upper 20s. What a stretch. There's so much we could say about this past week, right? But one of the things we know is that the brutal and historic cold, that really takes our eye, certainly with temperatures the past couple of days in the teens. Well, we're finally about to thaw out. And here's what's going to happen. We've been waiting to get out of this pattern we've been stuck in. And this has been a pattern that sends that cold air to our region and kind of keeps it there with those storms rolling over the cold air. Well, we're about to flip flop that and you can see this ridge building back out to the west. What that spells out for us, some sunshine and some warmth as we head into Friday and into the rest of the weekend. Look at this temperature change. 28 are high today, but up to 50 